defense hawks are preparing to stall the debt deal and Biden's Pentagon budget. Republicans have spent months declaring President Joe Biden's Pentagon budget inadequate. They now face the following dilemma, either support the debt ceiling deal that sets out Biden's budget, or aim to scrap it days before default. A handful of Republican defense activists plan to reject the debt deal between Mr. and defense-focused lawmakers are clenching their teeth in support of the deal, emboldened by the possibility of boosting the defense budget with emergency funds or even reviving the deal later. It's not something I would do, the lawmaker said. Don Bacon, Republican Nebraska. Nevertheless, we are cutting non-defense areas and are making many other concessions. If we asked for more, it would probably all go to waste, he said. As McCarthy and his team grapple with budget hardliners and insurgency calling for further spending cuts, deep rifts among House GOP lawmakers need to help loser Republican hawks help get a deal done. Likely to be. We have to put together a package to collect votes, he said. Tom Cole, Republican Oklahoma. And some Republicans honestly believe that spending is a bigger problem than defense. The deal sets a 3.2 percent increase to $886 billion in defense spending for fiscal 2024, based on Mr. Biden's request. Military spending will rise 1 percent to a total of $895 billion in 2025, effectively cutting the Pentagon's budget over the next two years. This is the first time that Congress has failed to add funding to Biden's defense plan. But not all defense-minded Republicans agree with the moratorium. At the moment I'm a no, Rep. Michael Waltz, R., Florida, told Fox News on Tuesday. We need to make bigger cuts in the non-defense sector, and at the same time we accept Biden's defense budget, but this is really a cut. Beyond policy on defense spending, there are practical implications. The Biden MC Carthy deal will force tougher fiscal compromises because lawmakers will have less money to fund military priorities that aren't in the budget than they would with another rate hike. Become. Lawmakers say Biden's $842 billion is needed to raise the $1.7 billion needed to purchase additional amphibious warships that the Navy Corps claims are mission critical, even though they aren't in the budget of the DoD proposal would need to be cut. Congressional leaders also want funding for the Indo-Pacific Command's $3.5 billion which list aimed at deterring China, but it's not included in the budget. And after a Chinese spy balloon crossed the United States this winter, lawmakers are calling for $266 million to be allocated from the U.S. Northern Command's wish list for long-range radar upgrades. House Appropriations Chairman Ken Calvert Republican California, plans to save money by forcing the Pentagon reform, but said the committee must do the best it can under the circumstances. We're going to have some tough decisions to make, Calvert said.